Captain Hansley! We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, hands busted. What say you? you? Sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Master them. Then let us go on. We're not too far from Anticosti Island now. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope Le Chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Ave Caesar. Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. I won't feel liberated until we pry them off. There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's old dumb.
So, Louis Joseph, how goes the fur trip? Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Well, what's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington docks is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? 
Good. Hoist anchor. Where does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins. Same as him. He's more experienced and he knows his water's better, Shay. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. That's just the thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I feel I was more grown up when we were children. We slept. Down! Catch the wind! out! Over there, Captain. The fishing set of the Braystone. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. Some assassin allies have their home in two bends. The heads of Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. 
I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of Red his. Bank inside, sir. Good hunting ground. Ah. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Where there's quiet to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Marshal the tops! Reef! Start on sail! Loose and catch the wind! Blockade, Captain! And this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package. And find sails. Washington. Reef the top sails and gallant. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. <sighs> Aye. You won't lose us, you're already dead! Well 
What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where you are? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington. to get to Washington first. I'm not worried about the facts. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. How marvelous! I wish my little daughter could see this.
need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm a lot of murder going man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you. ...for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it! Better hurry! I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Right, let's see what we've got! 
Is that a shit mortar? That's not sported! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. A sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the objects later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, they didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? New sale! Without all she takes! So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. 
Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. But to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with that Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to... Well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Lift that ahead, sir! Stand down, my lord! Down, sir!